Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tiffany Benson, one part of Team Benson, and today I'm in the kitchen cooking. So, I'm gonna be putting up a cooking video once a week. I actually filmed these kind of back to back, so you're gonna see me use a couple ingredients that I used from the last cooking video, which would have been last week. Um, but I am making food that is going to be healthy for us during the flu and cold season. So I'm using the bone broth that I made last in last week's video, which is technically yesterday. <laughs> and I'm going to make a lemon butter chicken kind of dish with also tomato, spinach, and artichoke in it. So if you guys want to get a recipe, then keep on watching. Okay, so first off, we are gonna talk about different cook, like cookware things that you can use. So a lot of times in a household, you'll have one person that is like, my feet are cold or my hands are cold, and that is not like a problem with the temperature of the house. That is actually a sign of an iron deficiency. Now you can pack on a bunch of red meat, eat a bunch of liver, or you can cook in a cast iron skillet. So cast iron skillets will provide you with some iron too for your body. So when it comes time for anything with flu and cold season or anything like that, I like to cook in a cast iron skillet at least a couple times a week to prepare our immune systems and make sure that all of our levels are up on every single vitamin, every single everything in our bodies. Because healthy bodies provide healthy immune systems and healthy lifestyles. So with that said, I actually have my bone broth and this I actually took off the layer of fat that I showed you guys in the last video and I added some water and then heated it back up in my pressure cooker so this is actually pretty hot but look at the color on that guys that is some good healthy bone broth that is gonna have all those minerals all of those herbs all of those garlic and everything that we put in there which you guys haven't watched that video I'll link it down below so you can see what I put in there there's a lot in this juice <laughs> but I like to have a healthy family. So I have three cups that I'm going to pour into my cast iron skillet and I'm gonna let it heat up. So we're gonna do that. Let's actually turn the skillet on. We'll start with that. And then we're just gonna pour this in here. So we're gonna let that start to heat up. And then in the meantime, I went out to my garden and I got some fresh thyme and then I had some fresh garlic. So I have just kind of like a handful of thyme. I have a mixture of common thyme and lemon thyme in here. And then I also have four clo cloves of garlic that I'm going to mince with my min mincer. <laughs> I can't talk today guys. So I'm gonna put all of that in the pot and let it kind of boil and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So also to this I added a half a stick of butter and this is the one that I used. It's just a grass-fed butter that I get from Whole Foods. So I added half a stick to the mixture that is on the stove right now in the cast iron and normally before doing any of this I would first sear um, chicken breast and then I would then add all of it to it let it come to a boil and then add the chicken breast back to it. But I have chicken that I had from the last video when I made the bone broth because I actually made the bone broth with an entire whole chicken. So I have this chicken right here that was in the freezer or refrigerator and it looks like Mr. Benson got to part of it. And I'm going to chop up the chicken breast on here so that then I can use that for my meal today. So this is what it's looking like on the stove, guys. Now whenever I cook with a cast iron, I also only use wood products. And don't know why, I've just seen my parents do it and my grandmother do it, so that's what I do. So in here I have the chicken stock, and then I also have fresh thyme that I just picked from my garden today. And I have butter, a half a stick of butter, and I have the garlic that I just minced. So I'm going to let this come to a slight boil and just stir it every now and then. All right guys, so one of the things I was talking about was I was trying to decide if I wanted to do a butcher box. And I wanted to see if 
the meat that you can get for that's supposed to last for a month would really last our family for a month because we eat a lot of meat. So I made the chicken and I made the bone broth from the chicken and now I'm starting to use the actual chicken itself. So in this recipe I only used one chicken breast and that actually gave me a lot of meat. So I chopped it up instead of having just one piece of chicken breast and giving each person a whole chicken breast for themselves. I took one chicken breast and I chopped it up to make it a part of the dish. Also, Mr. Benson isn't like eating meat on a bone, so he prefers it to be chopped up anyway because he feels like you would just have to rip it off, chop it up himself, and then do it. So might as well cut out a step and it saves us some cost on some extra meat. So I'm gonna stick this into the pot because now it is starting to simmer. So in the rice cooker, I have some jasmine rice going, but right now I just added the chicken to this. And so we are going to let the chicken and the sauce kind of melt and make itself its own little greatness. So I'm gonna cook this for, since the, cooking, the chicken's already done, I'm gonna cook this probably for another maybe 10 minutes to kind of really getting it to a rolling boil before I add the last veggies. So I have some roasted artichoke hearts that I got from Whole Foods um, and they just look like that. And I'm going to add these before I add the spinach and the tomatoes because I want to make sure that the artichokes are completely, completely soft and sometimes even when they're pressure canned, they're not as soft as I would like for them to be when we're trying to eat it. So I'm going to add these and let that continue to simmer. Also in a, the rice cooker, I have jasmine rice going. So in effort to have me and Mr. Benson not fight over artichoke hearts, I added the entire jar. So I'm going to just stir these in and let them simmer along with the mixture. And also, just so you guys know, save your um, oils that your artichokes come in. I'm just gonna pop this in the fridge and then I can use this at a later time for a different dish. So while I'm waiting for everything to cook up, I actually went and jarred the bone broth that I have. So as you can see, this is a nice, dark, rich color, and it has a nice kind of heaviness to it. So this, guys, was easy to make, and it's packed full of different things that are going to help you during flu and cold season, and it's easy to make. So instead of buying bone broth at the store, just put it in a pressure cooker and do it yourself, because it's quite easy. So I'm gonna continue back to what I was doing. So now it's time for me to add the tomatoes. So I'm gonna chop up one Roma tomato. You can use any tomato that you like. Sometimes I like to use cherry tomatoes, um, depending on what we have. But I'm gonna take one Roma tomato and I'm gonna chop that up and then I'm gonna add that to the pot. Now the tomatoes also can give you a lot of different flavors. So if you're using different types of tomatoes, you can get a lot of different flavors and a lot of different varieties to this dish by just using different types of tomatoes. So right after adding the tomatoes, I'm actually going to now cool it down a little bit before adding the spinach, and I'm going to use the lemon cubes. Um, now normally, I have if I have whole lemons, then I slice the whole lemon in like slices, and then I put that in there, and kind of cook it with the rind too as well, so I put it in earlier. But since I have lemon cubes already, I'm just going to add a couple of these. I'm probably gonna add like four of them. Okay guys, so this is what it's looking like. I did take out some of the stems of the thyme. As you can see, the leaves, as you boil thyme, the leaves kind of separate from the stems. So I took out the big stems, so nobody's chomping on those. And now I'm going to the final steps where I'm just going to add the spinach. So I'm just gonna put the spinach all over and I'm gonna let that cook down. I reduced the heat to a medium heat from a high heat and now I'm just gonna let that cook, and once the spinach is done, we'll thicken up the sauce, and then it'll be time for dinner. Okay, so now to finish everything up, I have some cornstarch that I added some water to, and I'm just mixing it to make a slurry. So, just like that. And I'm gonna slowly add this to my, um, my mixture here to kind of thicken up the salt or the sauce so you don't want to just dump it in there because then you might have too much <laughs> and then it might turn into like a really thick gravy which is not what I want I want it to be like a nice smooth gravy so I'm just going to slowly add it 
then I'm gonna stir it while I add it. I'm just gonna add it in different parts of the pan. Before adding more, I'm just going to kind of make sure that it's not thicker than what I want it to be. Add a little bit more. I think that'll about do it. So we're just going to let that thicken up. And then I'm going to plate it and show you guys what it looks like at the end. Alright guys, so this is our final product. We put it over a bed of rice. And as you can see, it has all the goodness in it. The artichokes, the spinach, the chicken, the tomatoes, the lemon, everything. The fresh thyme. And don't forget, we also made the bone broth. So it also has sage, ashwagandha root, carrots, and just a whole other stuff that we added in there. So uh, make sure you guys try it because this is not only going to be yummy to our tummies, but it's also going to help us fight the cold and flu virus. All right guys, so I'm gonna take this plate of yumminess over to Mr. Benson because he has a little bit of a sniffle from his allergies. So all of this that we've made and all of the bone broth, everything that we put in it, we all made ourselves and we made a dish that is gonna be a yummy that he wants to eat and not, you know, just drink a tea of sage water. <laughs> but it's also gonna help him with his allergies and any type of flu or cold symptoms that he's gonna get. So I hope this helps you guys. I hope you guys are cooking yourself your own yummy healthy meals. And don't forget, grow yourself a garden because even a small space garden can provide you tons of food.